Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to be doing episode 4 of Britman Rock's reality show on MTV following Britman Rock. I'm surprised that I got this far. Like, last time I recorded, I was like asking y'all, should I end it? Um, because, like, I was not feeling the reality show. Wait, a while so wow. Wow, so wow. Okay, maybe that's what I'm about. Okay, so yeah, so last time I filmed them, I was like not feeling the reality show. Like, I just feel like it's been done before. Like, I'm watching every other reality show that I've recently or that I've watched in my life. And yeah, I just felt like there's nothing special and I wanted to cancel it. But I'm thinking, why don't, you just, why don't I just stick it out and just finish the reality show? Um, so yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, we're on episode 4 today. Um, I haven't watched it. Um... I've been tempted to watch it because I see the thumbnail is Bretman crying. So I thought to myself, I need to wait until I'm like, until we see each other. So then I can start watching it. Um, so yeah, so it's episode four. Um, it's Bretman Rock Spot and he'll cry if he wants to. Yeah, I saw it like he was crying. Okay, so let's start watching. I don't know, like long intros, like no, that's not me. Previously on MTV's following. Welcome! My name's Micah, and we are you tour guys for today. Are you guys nervous? Yeah. Bitch, this is your idea. <laughs> um, I really have never been in a date. What? Who is that? Your date. Tell me more. I'm looking at this. You're gonna swallow, Larry. It's not ladylike to pop this food in your mouth. I don't think this is how a first date is supposed to go. <laughs> Do you feel like you learned something from your mock date with Larry? Honestly, that was really hard for me. The last thing I'm gonna do is look like a guy. Right. I'm not transgender. I would consider myself like a drag queen, but 24-7. It's like really hard. I just wanna feel accepted and not hidden. Wow, so you just genuinely feel like you've never belonged. Yeah. Fact that they use online celebrity to describe him. Okay, I guess he is an online celebrity. Did you sleep her in there? Girl, I would drown. I don't know how to swim. I don't know how to swim either. Brett! 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 <laughs> Yes, going on a date with Larry. It's a couple days away and 
I'm not letting this bitch back down. I don't know what to wear. I mean, it's a virtual day. Just make sure you clean your room before you do it. <laughs> <laughs> True that. It's weird because I don't know about meeting strangers. I don't really have a plan. But I'm a type of bitch who goes with the flow. So whatever happens will happen. The only practice I had was the mock day. I think you're ready though. Because I feel like that was not that serious. Because obviously it was like with Miss K and like we're friends or whatever. And so you guys are like gonna get comfortable with each other. We're goofing. Yeah. But honestly though, I feel like he wasn't comfortable with that outfit. I know, I feel so bad for her. And at least like now we know, not that we'll ever ask you for to dress up like a boy again, but like at least we know like her boundaries with that. True. You know, cause I never want Kiefer to feel uncomfortable. Honestly. We should like plan something for her. Kiefer is an incredible assistant. He always goes above and beyond for me. Be that as it may, she is my cousin first before she is my assistant. And honestly, she deserves all the love in the world. I think we should like, just give him like an environment where he feels like belongs mm. there. You know what I mean? True. We should throw like a surprise thing for her. We should do like a little, like a gender reveal. But like a departure from it. Instead of a boy and a girl, yeah, you can do a bad bitch. She's a bad bitch. Her. I think she would Her. love that. Yeah, and I feel like it'd be such a good excuse to like dress up, you know? Uh -huh. I don't know if I ever told you, but before I started putting makeup on anyone else, even including me, I would literally put Miss K in drag with my other cousin's makeup and So Kiefer has always been my first muse, and I feel like it'd be cute to revisit that. I basically grew up with Miss K in the same house full of 23 other heterosexual people who were our family members. <laughs> and it was the two of us being our gay selves. I felt that we empowered each other to really be whoever the f we wanted to be and wear whatever the f we wanted to wear. How are we gonna surprise her though? Because bitch, we're always with Miss K. That's your dilemma. We could act like we're filming a video. And I'll be like, if I be here on time. You are. These damaged. You know what I mean? And tell her, bitch, I'm gonna do your makeup for a YouTube video. And I feel like this would be such a cute way to like let Miss Kate feel appreciated. True. Kiefer has definitely been with me through the good and the bad and the ugly and the pretty. She's my everything girl. Are you down? Yeah. Bitch, I'm down for that. Bitch, the hip pads are gonna come out. Hey girl, what hey. you been doing over there? I'm just waiting on you. We have to talk about your schedule for the next couple of days. I feel like a cute little project that I want to give you, I want you to look for a trampoline. What kind of trampoline? Do you want it like a square or a circle? Ooh. Or a rectangular? I want it like a heart. Bitch, does those even exist? Okay, so you're only fans. So when are you gonna decide to do that second so text truth? Monday is the first, like, initial, like, I'm making my OnlyFans, and then Tuesday is when I'm uploading the pictures. And then, one more thing, you have, um, to shoot your, a YouTube video with this makeup brand. What did you want to do with it? So far, I've been thinking about doing, like, a drag tutorial. Okay. Can I do your drag makeup? Me? I kind of want to tell us the story of, like, you being the, my first muse. <laughs> Oh, and it's a brand deal, so I'll cut you a cute little piece. Just a little cherry on top. Yeah, you have to come with in drag already, though. Okay. Okay, well, that's your homework, bitch. You don't, don't f*** it up. I definitely think you for about my store on needing help with a YouTube video because we're always filming YouTube videos. So I really don't think he's going to grow suspicion out of it. This was a really, really, really good meeting. Mm -hmm. We got a lot done, and you have to get a lot done. <laughs> Me. These bitches could never. <laughs> Shame. It's all right. Probably must be so hard being an assistant. Today is the day of 
of Larry's blind date. So my plan is to FaceTime Micah and just hand the phone to Larry and hope for the best. Wow, what the f This bitch has not been answering my f calls. I'm not too sure what to expect out of this blind online date. I'm definitely letting my guard down. Just one guard, not my guard. But whoever's gonna pop up in that screen, I hope he's handsome and interesting. Unavailable. One more time. I'm calling Micah and he is not answering my phone call. I'm getting really nervous because I really don't want to disappoint Larry. Okay, yeah. We gotta talk to you in the living room. Okay. Why are we being so quiet? Because like Larry's right there, bitch. Bitch, you know how? You know how we um, set up a date for like Larry? <laughs> Bitch, Micah has not answered my call. I feel bad because Larry's already like dressed up. Bitch, we even did a mock date for him. All that? For what? For your bitches to f it up. Okay, how the f do we tell Larry, bitch? Because I don't know how the f I feel like you're the best friend, so you should be the best friend. Yeah. Larry has never been on a first date. So I'm really scared to tell Larry that this date is not happening and I just really hope that it doesn't crush his confidence because I would hate for that to happen and I would just feel like it's my fault. Should we just like, maybe like, roll him a big fat ass Which nothing makes Larry happier than a fat Should I go in first? No, I want to go in first. Okay, bye, hi. Okay. I'm five five. Bitch. Hi. I need help. Hey, girl. Hey, Can you someone put this on me? Uh -huh. Oh, how does that even work? Girl, that's why I need help. Bitch, your room is so cute. How the f are y'all on my bed? Girl. Sit with us. Sit with us. Miss Larry Ann, how are you feeling? Um, I'm excited for my day. So, um, obviously we, we um, got the date for you. Yeah. And um, we have his contact, like you said, and um, long story short, like, the bitch stops responding. Really? Yeah. Gang gang. <laughs> <laughs> But honestly, why does people do that? Why don't they just say like, look, I'm not into the dating thing, or I'm not ready to date, or whatever the case may be, then to stand you up. I hate that shit. He's very popular. Everyone knows him. Everyone loves him. Who is it? Miss Mary Jane. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently my blind date just ghosted me, but... I really appreciate my friends for like uplifting me and making me feel confident. I'm so sorry this happened to you. I'm glad that you stepped out of your comfort zone. It happens to the best of us, y'all. It really is. Ooh, 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 ooh. What? There was a bug that flew in my face. She's stepping out of her comfort zone right now. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That house is fucking amazing. I like uh, the underground parking and the houses on top. Drag lashes. 
I really like her. Mm. No, wait, let me help you. Okay. Kiefer has always been accepted by our family with his gender expression. Growing up, she would always buy Barbies for me, but really, it's because she always wanted to play with him. <laughs> Because you be going out of your way for us all the time. Girl. And we never 
go out of our way to this little thing. Bitch, she literally took me to get my car when it got towed. It's okay. Miss K is just such a beautiful person, inside and out. But I can tell with her faces that she doesn't believe us. She definitely makes me feel beautiful, so I think it's my turn to make her feel more beautiful. What I love about most about Miss K is the sense of comfort that she gives me. When I'm with Miss K, I feel like no one can hurt me. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Larry, go. Um, I really, really, really love about Mrs. K is her okay. constant optimism. And she's just resilient. Like, you're very resilient. Yes! I hate the fact that Princess is yes, like that. Like, can she please stop? You know, my mom was always ironized, and like, I never really felt comfort until, like, you gave it to me, and you were the very first person. Oh. I am feeling very overwhelmed. This attention I'm getting right now is very new to me because I'm always in the background where I'm not Aww, really like in the spotlight. I'm more of like the one holding the spotlight for them. What do you love the most about yourself? Yeah, Miss K. About me? Yo. I don't know. Bitch, there's a lot. There's a lot. I just like pick on myself a lot. What? what do you pick yourself the least about? Girl. Shame, that's actually sad. I don't even think you realize how confident you are. You have such a great energy where like when you're in a room, like everyone feels comfort. It's not just yeah. me. And I feel like you make everyone feel like that. Like you make everyone feel confident. I don't feel confident. A lot of times. And I see you guys. And you guys are like, no. No. <laughs> don't cry. It's okay. It's like my confidence comes from you guys. You guys don't even know. Because it's like you're very confident in your own skin. And it's like it, I struggled because I'm I don't look like you guys. Oh sure. <laughs> I'm like, man. I try to like confident with you guys. <laughs> And it's like hard to say when it's like you feel very different. But I think you guys gave me this confidence. What I can be myself. Because of you guys. My confidence comes from my friends and them telling me about how they get their confidence on with me. That that feels amazing. See, I didn't put on mascara for something. I wanna give you a hug. Bitch! We love you. Oh, I feel so bad for Miss Kifa. About his insecurities. I feel like moving forward, he deserves to feel love the same way that he gives us love. We love you, Miss K. Forever. Okay, this this first shot is for accepting ourselves. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Let's party, bitches. Enough crying. We are here to get lit, ladies. I need to show off my outfit. I need to be seen. DJ, pump the beat. drinking and just really f***ing around but I have one more surprise for Kiefer and I want it to be extravagant. Miss K for the last event of the night we will be finding out your gender. Is that what the balloon is for? Yeah bitch. Whatever the colors are blue represents obviously boy and pink represents girl. A little gender reveal with a twist. Be under other people's lane, and it's okay to talk and be out there. 
Not a lot of people can say that. Yes, it's a bad bitch. Her. Who the fuck is this princess? <laughs> Next time on MTV's Follow. Does everybody know you're a big news yet? What is the that you're big? No, I was having fun shit with an agency. They want me to do a test shoot, so I'm gonna be using the beach house. Absolutely not. If Princess ever becomes more famous than Redman, it would definitely hurt his ego a bit. Break through me to your Wow. I would say she was actually the only A beauty. I worked with like Ruby Rose, Fred. I am feeling so nervous. I've always wanted to model. Do you work with people like my size? you want to live the island fantasy with me? I always say Cleo is such a beautiful girl like regardless of her weight or anything she's like extremely beautiful. I always said and I said it in previous videos as well. She's so beautiful but regarding today's episode um yeah I still think it could have been a YouTube video. <laughs> Um, but nevertheless, MTV decided to give him a reality show, so that's what I'm reviewing. Is that the show or the episode was kind of sweet, and I like the fact that they, um, what they done for Miss Kay. Um, it was super dope, super sweet. Um, actually really genuine, to be honest. Um, yeah, and that's the overall thought, um, of what I thought about the show of today's episode. It's just that I was, like, kind of annoyed me was the clickbait. Um, the crying of Britman, like, I was expecting it's going to be, like, a dramatic scene, but it wasn't, like, him even real, like, you know, whatever. He wasn't actually really crying, like, that makes sense? It was, like, yeah. Clickbait, basically clickbait. So, MTV, everybody does clickbait, so don't come at me for doing clickbait, because everybody does clickbait. Give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you thought of today's episode. And subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next week on the new episode of Following Britain Rock. Bye.